Hi, this is Paul and Wanda from Alanda Craft. And in this video, we thought we'd go through a review of the Aliso Pro Smart Iron, which we've had for about three months now. Yes, we first saw this iron being used by Jenny Dome from a Missouri Star Quilt Company. And we're going to put a link to her channel uh, below because she has a fabulous channel with lots yeah, of lots wonderful of, things on it. If you're a quilter, it. especially, mm. yeah, she's got a lot, of, a lot of really good tutorials. And so she uses this, one of these irons, so we thought... Ah, that's exactly what we need. Yeah, that's so. right. So we're going to go through a few of the um, features. And the main one, and the main reason why we actually bought this, was the touch technology, I guess you could call it. So all you need to do to get this iron working is to just basically press the top here or hold your hand over the top, and oh, off you go, an iron. Mm. And as soon as you let your hand go, up it comes. So you've never got a problem of burning uh, material because mm. it will just pop up and down and if you forget to leave it down that doesn't matter because you're meant to leave it down basically. So if you you can do that if you like but really I wouldn't well, advise it. <laughs> yeah, you just leave it down and let it go. So, yeah, so no more scorched ironing boards. Yep. Um, it's just brilliant. Yep. We love it. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So some of the other features apart from that which is the main one, uh, it, is, it has a 12 foot cord. So yeah. ideal. We've got a plug to go across the room. Yes. Yeah. Uh, normally with an iron, they come with a very short cord, and you have to have your ironing board and your iron near a, a point, or else you put it on a lead, which can be dangerous. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so brilliant. It also has um, the dial here, of course. You can turn it to off on the dial, yeah. and then you've got the synthetic woolen silk, linen and cotton. And of course, the maximum. You can turn the steam function off by just turning this button to no steam. Yeah. And then it has, if you have a particularly troublesome wrinkle, you can squirt some water onto it and iron it through to take it out. And then, of course, you can give it an extra shot of steam. Now, look at that. Mm. That's just brilliant. So, that will put lots of steam into your, your seams. Uh, it also has a Large tank, which is clear. It's quite good. Mm. It's nice, nice. Takes a lot of water. Yes, well, 375 mils uh, it'll hold, mm. and it's a side opening uh, filler, which is really great. I used to have a one of my irons, and it had a little fill thing on the top, and very difficult to get into. Comes with a nice uh, sized filler, and you simply pour your water in like that. Pop that closed, and you're ready to keep steaming away. Now if you don't want your iron to be popping up and down for some reason, I don't know why you would, no. <laughs> because yeah, the reason most people buy it is that it does pop up and down, but there is an option to turn it off at the, at the bottom here, so you just turn it the other way and then your iron will stay down basically. But then you've got to remember to, to lift it up. That's right. Yeah, just to be, but I think it does have a turn off, there is a, I can't remember reading it, but if you leave it, um, down. I think it automatically turns off after a little while anyway, but you might want to double check that. Um, but really, you'd want to be keeping that button up all the time. Yes. And that's the whole feature yeah, of this that's, iron. That's right. Yeah. So uh, this iron was designed by a man, so he certainly knew what he was doing, uh, and it's great. Yeah. Now, they're available in Australia, which of course is where we are, yeah. and we bought ours online from so much easier. That's right. Dot com. And yeah, they, I mean they're available in the US, and obviously, yes. and, and I'm sure the they're UK. available in the UK, yeah. Canada, New Zealand. So, yep. um, but you can even if I think in New Zealand, you'd probably be able to buy it from so much easier yes, as well. I'm not yes. sure. You might want to just check when, when you get to the we, website. We got it on special. We got a, a really good deal. We paid 134 dollars for it. Uh, they they retail normally for around 164, 199 yeah. in Australia. Yeah. Um, oh, on the on the Elisa website, they're retailing for 199. So that's the you know the maximum the price you'd want to want to be paying for yes. these. But you can usually find a look on Amazon. You probably yeah. find it a lot cheaper on yeah. Amazon. So they're a bit exy um, compared to a regular iron, but really, if you're a quilter, sewer, and you're like us, you know yeah. you sew a seam, you get up and go to go to the iron, and you just want to be able to quickly iron without turning the iron on and off all the time. I mean, this is awesome. Because that's what we found, wasn't it? Because we, mm. we're both using, we're both yeah. doing different projects, and then you use it, you turn it off. The other person's got to come, turn it on. So it became a bit of a nuisance. It's got a lovely flat sole plate. 
and it also has uh, a pointy end so that you can get into uh, yeah, bias binding, device. those sort of things. Yep. Yeah, so quite quite yeah. nice. Yeah. So yeah, so all in all, we love it. Yeah, wouldn't be without yeah. it now. Yeah, we've yeah. had it like I say, we've had it for three months. Yep. Constant use. And constant use. Yeah. The only thing, the, there's no real negatives with this, I don't think. But the only thing I have is that, and I know Wanda doesn't have this problem. It's just me. So, <laughs> but if um, I tend to be really quick, I want to pick up the iron and go. And because it does that first, you know, you, although it's pretty quick, sometimes I get too quick for it. Although I've learned lately not to do that, but I get a bit too quick and I and I run it along before it has had a chance to drop. So you just be aware of that, that if you are a quick ironer like me, you just want to get in there and get it done. Um, it could just, you know, the, 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 yeah, the little legs will get caught in the material. I haven't had anything ruined. It's not like it ruins anything, but it just means you'll have to iron over the bit that it's just run So over. no fault of the iron. No, no. It's just yeah, it's simply the operator. Yeah. That's all right. So all in all, we thoroughly recommend this iron for quilters and crafters. We have another old iron that we use for most of our craft work where we do glitter and... Um, yeah, interfacing, and interfacing, sticky interfacing like and all that sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. The other mixed medias, but uh, this is for our quilting and our sewing and it's brilliant. Yeah, we really like it, so definitely recommend it. Oh, thank you for watching. Okay, thank you.